Just as flu season is winding down, turns out there's a deadly outbreak in the Midwest, but this one is among dogs. Here's Dean Reynolds. Brittany Siciliano went to the doctor today with her friend Franklin. This is Franklin. And Franklin is how old? Franklin's three months old. Franklin feels fine, but his owner is a bit concerned because of the outbreak, some call it an epidemic, of canine infectious respiratory disease. There's no specific vaccine for it, though some vets think its effects might be lessened by the regular seasonal flu vaccine that Franklin received today. Lulu, the French bulldog, is one of 1,100 Chicago area dogs hit by the new flu. And while Lulu has gotten better, at least six dogs have died. This new dog flu strain called H3N2 was somehow imported from Asia and has never been seen in the U.S. <coughs> First signs are a persistent cough and lethargy, but this is no kennel cough. We were finding that the numbers of dogs was far more than we normally see and the severity of the disease was much worse. Dr. Natalie Marks is co-owner of the Blum Animal Hospital on Chicago's north side. Our dog population here is what we call naive. They've never seen anything like this before, so their immune system isn't primed and ready to fight it. Good girl. The illness has spread to Wisconsin and Indiana, and one case was identified in Georgia. All the more reason vets are urging pet owners to avoid dog parks, dog boarding, or any other places dogs congregate until the outbreak subsides. Now, this new dog flu is no threat to humans, Scott. But if we come into contact with a sick dog, the virus can get on our hands and on our clothes, and then we can spread it to other dogs. Dean Reynolds reporting for us tonight. Dean, thanks very much.